Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh, never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the grimoire's second volume for me. Twould seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first. One half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I implore you, find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life, the life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. A strange little shop. Mother, quick, over here! Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. His eye! I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind how much he repeats it. <sighs> Tis all my fault, Mother. He's only been like this since I said I wished we had an easier life. No, it isn't, dear, and don't you fret. Your father, he'll be back to his old self before you know it. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Ought we to give Sir Isaac the grimoire as he requested? Tis a quandary indeed. All we know for sure is that we know nothing at all. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. On the transference of souls, eh? Tis not like to do much harm on its own, but when combined with its twin, the first volume, tis potent indeed. Take care how you use it, sir. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very be well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. We have acquired the grimoire entitled On the Transference of Souls, just as Sir Isaac requested. Will we be delivering it to him? But we must rest. The Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something. The item you requested is complete. Here you ask many thanks to you. Interested in my wares? Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. It would behoove us not to fall too far behind our guide. Let's take it easy today. My needs are acting up.
This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Ah! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easy. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I... I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisen. Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. A forgery, of course. Had my master and I only known. 